Hi, my name is Amy Hunter. I'm from Ardyland Works. I'm down at the Ardyland Hatchery with Barry Sharp, and he manages the place. So, hello, Barry. How are you, Amy? Good, thanks. Yourself? Oh, a bit warm today. Ready for the questions? Yes. And this hatchery, how did this happen here? In one the, point, the hatchery started because. Um, the government wanted to us to prove to them that we could breed trochus shells, so then they would invest money into it. So what happened is we started this small hatchery, we was made out of wood when we first started it, and uh, we um, proved to them that we could breed the trochus shell. Um, we had to, uh, quite a lot of success in the first attempts. Um, and then they shifted all the uh, the uh, money and all the uh, works into Broome, at, to Manbama, yeah, in Broome. And they tried to breed Trachashol there, which wasn't a success. Only out here? Yes. And what else besides Trachashols do you grow here? Well, we have uh, broodstock barramundi. Barramundi? Yeah. Uh, we also have... Um, Clownfish. We have everybody knows them as Nemo's. We have the black and white clownfish, yeah. and the red and white clownfish, and we also breed the anemones and all that's for the, the for the aquarium trade. And I heard that you also have two turtles here, or three. Yeah. Well, we started off with two, and the kids bought two more, and so we've got four now. But the original two were brought to me when they were dying, they were emaciated and uh, we we got four of them but we managed to save two and we'll release them in January 2010 and we'll give one to the school at one arm point and one to the Juddigan school and they'll have a tracker on it and the kids will be able to track them and uh, learn to look after them and just see where they go once they leave here. So, so those turtles They'll be when people find them in dead. In yeah, a, they'll like be in a, tagged. Okay. They'll tag. Uh, they'll have a red tag on them, and they'll also have a tracker on them. And they'll call back again, tell you where they got them. Yeah. Well, it'll be satellite. Okay. So, this. so it'll be set up for a satellite receiver, and um, yes, it'll be fascinating for the kids to uh, to see what happens. Uh, we bred them originally to get over the shark stage because everything in the ocean eats turtles when they're babies. But now when they're this side, they'll, they'll possibly be around about 20 kilos when we release them, when we release them. So they'll be uh, above 90% of the predators that we have. They never get above big shark predator stage, but that's tiger sharks. And why do you think they need a hatchery here in one place? Well, it's... Uh, from from my point of view, it's a, it's the right site, and it's got the right water temperature, and it's got everything that you need to make a hatchery in one one point. And hopefully, uh, we we still breed trochus shell here and release and put them out for these people. But now we've extended into the uh, into the tourist trade, and we've extended into the aquarium stage. So uh, yeah, and we also have broodstock barramundi and broodstock barramundi cod. And these things that I see on the table, do you make them here? Yes, they're all made here. And they're they are from trochus shells? Yes, they're from made from the bottom of the trochus shell. It's uh, like that. All right. And uh, they sell for around about between 50 and $25 each. And the big trochus shell we usually sell for about 25 to $30 each. And that gives us an income to run the hatchery all year. So by this time next year, the hatchery should be standing alone. It'll be making its own money, which is very good, which is what we've tried to achieve for a long, long time. See these uh, butterfly shells that Amy has in her hand? And what Mikey's got in his hand there? Henry. Henry, Henry. sorry. Yeah. Um, if When they're fully grown probably at least 75 mil and the more color they've got in them like that's a that's a yellowy color 
they're worth about a hundred dollars a millimeter so they're very valuable shell the most valuable shell that we have in one arm point and uh that's just a pencil urchin there that uh, the other lass has got in, in her hand there and this is just a soft coral and there's some uh, clam shells and other bits of coral and stuff in the tank but this is a butterfly shell tank this one this is a lion fish it took me nine months to get him used to my hands right and I can feed him by hand now uh, you've got to be very careful because he can move like lightning and he can poke you with those 12 spines on the back of his uh, on the back of his thing there he can move very very fast so you've got to be very careful but he, what, he, what he will do he'll let you know when he's going to poke you the tips of his wings will flash white and he'll go bang and that's it you've got it hospital job yeah. but took me a long time to get that fish to to come so people could get him to photograph him and also to feed him we go and fishing now